Hi, hello, greetings. How are you today? Today I have another I just finished reading video for you. This video is about Eric by Brian Catling. This is a book that comes out these days here in the UK. It is published by Holder and Stoughton. I received an e-arc via Netgalley from the publisher in return for an honest review. What I can do is I can give an impression of my first reading of this book. It is a book that is quite a bit different, I think, in quite a few ways. It is a book I loved reading and this is now a short summary of what you might be finding in this book. Although in some way it defies description, this book. Now, this book mainly tells the story of Eric, who agrees to be the care for Mia, who is a girl, who has a deformity with her teeth and so she has teeth made of ice and obviously they melt away all the time, so they have got to be replaced. She has got to be very static in one place and then replace her teeth every few hours. And she needs a care who takes care of the all the daily business in the property and also takes care of her. From the beginning onwards, what is very clear, I feel, is, is also Eric does have quite some traumatizations in his life and Mia with her deformity definitively is also hampered and very much limited in her expression and of what she can live and experience. This book, therefore, I understand is a book about emotional harm, emotional deformity, emotional trauma. It talks about this layer of our physical body that we are not so much aware of. And the medium it talks about it is with images that feel quite often surrealistic or like pictures of horror. And basically the whole story itself is also like a story told in symbols. So there is quite a bit of connecting the dots you have got to do. And as this is something actually I like to do, I still feel excited about this book and trying to figure some of the things out that I haven't yet discovered. And I think there are so many layers to this book that there still is quite a few things to discover. Describing the stories is I would I would like to describe it as a mo we, we start with the moment of stasis where Mio and Eric have been set up in this apartment, third floor in the ash, and then there is this one impulse that comes from his employers and things start to happen. And we see the reverberations of this one input that happens throughout this book. The input and effect it has on the our two main characters as well as on many other people involved on the sidelines some some people become also more like more important characters also in the story we then also have in the second half a cat that plays quite an interesting role and by the end of the book we have even made a journey from Liège to Paris. This strange journey I have got to tell you is one of the parts of the book I absolutely utterly loved. That was just hilarious and entertaining. The ending I was a bit disappointed first then I took a step back and thought about why I was actually disappointed and I realized that I actually had really started to root for some of these characters and therefore I was just dissatisfied with their ending. And again, it's like this interactiveness of the story that really makes me think, that makes, makes me take a step back, that makes me reflect me myself also as reader. And I think that is such an interesting book just to experience that. But you have also got to be the reader to be willing to accept this challenge somewhat. Otherwise, you just will be put off and feel like, yeah, can't you tell me what this all is about? Because that's not what the author has in mind. Also, at the end, obviously, I try to make sense. Maybe there isn't really a final sense or a final message there. And it's re really about what, you, what I as reader take out of it, the conclusions I make, the picture I get, and then I draw my conclusions. And maybe I like it, maybe I don't. And I think it is just such an amazing book to see, to actually being published uh, and put out there in the wide, wild world of readers, of any kind of provenience. I think as an author, sometimes you have got to have a lot of courage. Yeah. There is, on one level, I feel there is also a very strong level of psychology present in this book. It is touched down on the level where mental health is discussed at some point in the book. There is also discussion of consciousness, unconsciousness, and there are some absolutely fantastic scenes in this book as well. The two points of discussion that I found interesting is, is that Eric, with this getting just his impulse from the employer and he has to act upon it is he's just made to react and then out of this reaction so many things follow and everything starts to change and raises questions of actually 
who, first of all, who are these em his employers and who actually affects change and who gives these inputs? And am I actually the master of my own life or of my own house or is someone else pulling the strings? Interesting questions, I would say. Then immediately following, there is also the question of what is good, what is evil. If you're not the master in your own house, if someone else pulls the strings, how do you then define good and evil and what is good and evil? And then together also with these layers of awareness or consciousness that are displayed in this book. It has so many facets in this book. It's really amazing. Right. If you've read this book, I would really love to hear from you. So I would love to discuss this book with other readers because I think that is where you can start to understand more of this storyline as well. So please get in contact with me either in the comments below or then on my social media. The book is now out beginning of September. I would also like to make a point if you read this book take it as a whole even if you read it on digital media take the cover into account. I think that possibly might also be hold quite a big clue there. All in all I'm very happy to have actually have been given this chance to review this book to read this book in advance and if you feel intrigued check it out see if it is something for you let me know if you read it in the comments below let's discuss otherwise happy reading as always and talk to you soon bye